Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Renessa Edwards. My pronouns are she and her. And I'm one of the supervisors in PHRC's Philadelphia Regional Office. On behalf of the planning committee for today's engagement, I would like to welcome everyone to the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission's 2023 Housing Equality Conference, putting the act in fair housing. In Philadelphia, and of course across the nation, cities across the nation, inequity in housing can be seen in the homeless populations that line the city sidewalks, um, that occupies transportation hubs, tent cities, and parking cabinets. There are many contributing factors to this issue, and some will be discussed today, such as displacement of domestic violence survivors, denial of housing due to one's sexual orientation, displacement due to inaffordable housing as a result of corporate development, inaccessible housing for those with different, dis uh, different abilities, and other seemingly insurmountable sources of inequities. The problem seems so large that individually, it can be overwhelming. As fair housing advocates, we can sometimes question the impact we may or may not have in the day-to-day -day work that we do. However, having all of us gather to educate ourselves, engage in discussions, network, and walk away with plans of engagement makes us all connected and magnifies our impact to affect real change. Events like this conference are what keeps us connected and where our conversation turns into action steps. With that in mind, I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a few housekeeping items before we begin. Please keep your phones on vibrate or mute, and if you have to take a call, please do so in the hallway. There are directional signs on each floor to help you navigate this amazing venue. At the end of each session and at the end of the day, there will be a QR code displayed inviting you to complete a survey. Please access this code by using the camera on your phone and clicking the link. Today promises to be a dynamic day and the intention is to walk away inspired, enlightened, and ready to put some steps into action. And now please allow me to introduce our executive director, Chad Dion Lassiter. Let's give it up for Supervisor Edwards. And we're giving it up for her because she's setting the context for what's going to be a very uh, energizing uh, and very impactful day. I was just saying to our regional director in Pittsburgh and my special assistant, um, I said, is that a baby? And they say, yeah. And I'm always just really um, in a moment of just, you know, reality when, when babies are around because their cry, their Googling, their laughter just lets us know that even in dark times, uh, there's promise of a better tomorrow. Um, so for that baby, don't calm the baby down. Let the baby do what we all have done, which is enjoy uh, every moment that we are afforded an opportunity to have breath. So good morning, everyone. I'm Chad Dion Lasseter. I'm the executive director of the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Weinsman National Jewish Museum in Philadelphia for our 2023 Fair Housing Conference. We are honored that you are here to join us today. Having a place to live is a basic human necessity and right for everyone. Access to housing should come without artificial impediments and unwarranted bias based on race, religion, national origin, sex, and family status. As the state's civil rights enforcement agency, the PHRC is dedicated to meeting the needs of the Commonwealth and ensuring housing justice and opportunity for all, not just for some, but for all. It is essential that those of us who are mindful of fair housing violations and the impact housing discrimination has on individual families and communities continue working together to find solutions and earnest remedies through the affirmatively furthering fair housing mandate, we must hold our local leaders and local governments accountable. We must also hold ourselves accountable as well. We must insist 
They look at their policies and take meaningful actions to overcome barriers and combat discrimination. This might mean regulating and legislating, if necessary, to guarantee equitable housing. With allies and supporters like all of you, the PHRC is working to affirmatively further fair housing. This past April, our Fair Housing and Commercial Property Division released a white paper, the State of Fair Housing in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I'm so very proud of the work our team put into the research for this white paper. The recommendations and findings provide a framework for the Commonwealth to ensure equitable housing. Another way we are looking to affirmatively further fair housing is through events like today's conference. We have several planned panels and discussions on gentrification, neighbor to neighbor harassment, and addressing appraisal bias, plus a dynamic keynote from Fred Bonguelas, the Community Investment Business Development Manager at FLH Bank in Pittsburgh. We are encouraged by your efforts and interest in affirmatively furthering fair housing in Pennsylvania, and we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to attend this year's conference. I would like to thank our Director of Fair Housing and Commercial Property, Adrian Garcia. Let's give it up for Dr. Director Garcia. Our Fair Housing Training and Outreach Coordinator, Brittany Millinger, who's not with us, she's on maternity leave, but we'll give it up for her. The Chair of our Social Justice Fair Housing Committee, Commissioner Mayor Patel. Our distinguished speakers and panel, our Planning Committee. We could not do this without the dedication of the Planning Committee. Um, and so we want to acknowledge them as well. And everyone who helped to make this conference possible. Thank you to the Weissman National Jewish American Museum for hosting us. Thank you all for attending. Uh, and we have a lot of great things that will be on display uh, throughout today as well as a tour. So once again, greetings, good morning, and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Todd Schwartz, uh, and I'm an investigator, an intake investigator, as well as a housing investigator here at the Philadelphia office. Welcome to Philadelphia, everyone. <laughs> You're welcome. When we started searching for a venue, oh God, many months ago, we were looking at a plethora of venues throughout the city. The city has many. Able venues, many hotels, and then we decided to go in a different direction. Why not check out a museum that has ample space and it has a history and it tells a story? And we thought this would be a great museum and a great venue uh, to share our mission and to share our ideas. With that said, um, I would like to introduce the chief of staff of this wonderful space, Mr. Arthur. Sandman. Thank you, Todd. Uh, welcome to you all. Welcome to the Weizmann National Museum of American Jewish History. We're truly thrilled to have you. Uh, we hope through the course of the day that you'll enjoy the conference spaces, a truly inspiring view of Independence Mall, uh, walk through uh, 350 more years of Jewish history in this, on this continent. Uh, and as you go through, hopefully you'll note some of the installations of artist Jonathan Horowitz, who has created kind of a, con a contemporary conversation uh, with, the, with the displays in the museum about some of the issues of inequity uh, that, that continue to challenge American society today. We hope you'll enjoy our, our gift shop and we hope you'll enjoy our hospitality. Um, so we welcome many groups to the, uh, to the museum and I, I hope we're thrilled to have them all, but I'm particularly pleased that 
that this group is here today uh, on the subject of housing and fair housing. Uh, it probably uh, makes sense uh, to start off a comment on that by noting that we're all, in a sense, on, on displaced land, that this was originally the homeland of the Lene Lenape people. Uh, and we're here now. Uh, and thinking about what that means. So as you enter the, the galleries, which I hope you will uh, later this afternoon, uh, you enter at the dawn of the American, of the presence of American, of Jews in America. Uh, in 1654, when 20 some uh, Jews came on a ship uh, seeking refuge from the Portuguese uh, Inquisition, which was taking place in South America at that time in Brazil. And they were received by the community in New, New Amsterdam and its uh, Dutch governor, uh, Peter Stuyvesant, who wrote to uh, his board of directors of the Dutch East Indies Company in uh, Holland, writing, we have for the benefit of this weak and newly developing place and the land in general, deemed it useful to require them, meaning these Jews who had come, in a friendly way to depart. Praying also most seriously in this connection for ourselves and for the general community of your worships that the deceitful race, such hateful enemies and blasphemers of the name of Christ be not allowed further to infect and trouble this new colony. So much for a welcome to America. It was probably a higher impulse that prompted George Washington some years later to write to the leadership of the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island. For happily, the government of the United States, which gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance, requires only that they who live under its protection should demean themselves as good citizens. And he went on to, uh, to reference uh, the prophet Micah in saying, while everyone shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree, and there shall be none to make him afraid. So today, I think we still struggle in our society with the lowest impulses of Peter Stuyvesant and the greatest impulses of George Washington. And my hope for you today is uh, to be inspired by this place, uh, by the larger neighborhood, and by the society in which we live to seek uh, the benefits of fair housing for all. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Mr. Sandman. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. Um, if you refer to your program booklets, you'll see that our next session was to be at uh, Balancing Neighborhood Improvements and Neighbor Preservation. We're going to switch that. So we're going to start off with the breakout session that's scheduled for 11. And then we'll return here at 11 for that uh, amazing panel. Does everyone understand? OK. So if I believe that there are. Uh, location of the breakout sessions, where they're going to be. So choose which one you want to attend, and then uh, we can move forward with that. So we'll start around 930. Thank you.